Good morning, people. How are we doing? It is a sunny yet rainy, mm, overexposed. Good start. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, it looks warm, but I think it's freezing cold and it's about to trek down with rain. That's why jumper, jacket, I can always take one off if I need to. Um, I was about to sing that song going, Is it to go for your clothes? No, not gonna happen. Um, today I am off to see Lift, which is a musical that has just been redone at the Southwark Playhouse with a few mates of mine in it, which is very exciting. And then later on I might be meeting up with a mate of mine for a drink who I haven't seen, another fellow TikToker, which will be lovely as he has been travelling around the world working. Um, and this is the first time we've been able to meet up in like five, six months, so that's nice. I would say I've got about 25 minutes, half an hour before I have to leave. I'm gonna have my coffee, I'm going to sit, watch an episode of something, and wait for this parcel to arrive. Because I have no idea if it's arriving today, if it's left at the uh, that place where I went yesterday. Who knows? Because it's being sent from someone. I have no, I, I'm not the email holder, so I have no idea where it's gonna be, when it's going to be. Um, so hopefully I'm in for that, but if not, I will personally go and collect it from somewhere. As I said about two minutes ago, the heavens looked like it was about to track it down. It's tracking it down with thunder and lightning. Oh, I was just waiting for the next lightning. Or thunder. Something exciting to happen. So after all of that thunder business, it's now hailing. What is going on with this weather today? I am so excited for Lyft this afternoon. It's been one of those musicals that's been on my list and I'm like, as soon as it comes back, I will go and see it. And then the cast got announced and it has mutual friends of Lizzie and I's in it, which is super cool. Um, but I actually watched it on a streaming site like a year and a half, two years ago, um, of a past production on Broadway Plus, I think it's called, where you basically pay a small fee and you get to watch the show being filmed like years and years ago. And the music is so good. So the show got cancelled due to flooding with all of the rain. It's not, the, it's, it's not the best theatre to uh, get flooded either because it is like on ground level, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not ideal, but it's okay. We're going to make a bad thing into a good thing. We got to see our friend Heber, which was absolutely lovely. Um, and now I think we're just going to walk into town. Um, my plans for later on also got cancelled. Um, so we're going to go and see a show. I might even go and see Dear Evan Hansen. We have come up to one of my favourite places in London, really. Uh, this is quite a new place that I've discovered. It's the Terrace Bar at the Royal Opera House. It's on my TikTok. Um, it's one of my number one best performing videos, one of my favourite videos to film. Because uh, the Opera House have seen it, so know me, which is great. Um, we'll take a look at this view over Covent Garden. Earlier on I went into the Transport Museum shop and it was like Elizabeth Line open today which is the new tube line which takes you from like Reading up towards like Essex way. It's huge um, but I thought I'd go and try it out today because I've seen pictures and it looks amazing. Oh, started raining again. Let's head in. This is so cool down here, like look at it out there. It's so futuristic, I absolutely love it. I mean the stations are really strange which ones it stops at, but like this is super cool to have a brand new tube line. We haven't had this for absolutely ages. These tubes look so American with like the overhead rail. So I never get excited about tubes, but that was something different. That was the most spacious, quietest, smoothest trip I've ever had on a tube. 
like you could hear people talking which is so rare on a tube it's a bit like a Tesla you can't hear it approaching and when you get on it you can't hear it moving really which is so strange and then just having these like really cool architecture bits is like such a breath of fresh air for the tube map that I think we really needed um, because a lot of the lines are getting quite old and a bit dingy and dirty. So I just got off at Oval and it's sunny again but with super super dark clouds so I feel like there's going to be another storm but I can't get over the difference between like the Elizabeth line where it was smooth and spacious and quiet to going to the northern line which was like dirty and cramped and hot and it just there's no comparison between the two if you need to take the Elizabeth line to work take the Elizabeth line to work it's so much nicer and what I'm hoping is that in the future all of the lines get redone I mean it would be an absolute pain don't get me wrong if like the, nor the northern line gets a huge redo and they shut it all down because that's like my main line that I use but imagine if all of the lines looked and were like that some time has passed I did fall asleep again not great it's fine though it's fine uh, it is currently 9.30 in the evening and I'm wanting to do a challenge because I haven't done dinner so I want to go to the co-op with a certain amount of money and try and find stuff to cook tonight that is a whole meal. I know cooking this late is not ideal. Uh, Mum, how much should I spend at the co-op? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Okay. So I actually don't think eight pounds is too bad. It's just about what I want. <laughs> Whether I don't even know what I, I'm hungry for. There are like ready meals that are like four pounds, but I think that defeats the object of the game. I think I'm supposed to spend up to eight pounds on a proper dinner with lots of different ingredients. I think in my head, I'm gonna go for something like peppers and corn on the cob with some rice and some like barbecue chicken. I have no idea though. So I know I just said I'm not gonna pick up a, like a ready meal, but I did pick up this hunter's chicken which looks amazing and I feel like if I bought all of the ingredients together it would actually cost more than that packet because that packet's not that expensive at all. I think I'm going to go with the savoury chicken flavour rice because I think that's a nice addition to it. So as you probably will see I did go over so the sweet corn had to go. So currently I've got some chicken rice and peppers which actually doesn't sound bad it sounds quite healthy as well i've seen a few other youtubers do the exact same thing but with a lot lower money and they've gone way over it and then been like oh well this is a lot harder than i expected that is a hard challenge i shouldn't really complain about eight pounds because eight pounds is quite a lot but the ingredients have been bought and i will go home and cook it and show you the final results ingredients home safely let's start cooking sound like Sam Way on TikTok. Uh, right, what do I need? I need a chopping board. This is like cooking 101. I get a budget because I asked my mum for it. She gives me eight pounds. I managed to nearly spend nine pounds 20. So that's always a good start. Peppers need to be in the pan. The... <sighs> oh, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> right, I need, an, I need a knife. Uh, don't they say don't give children knives? Probably. 30 minutes? Really? Are you sure? My mum's debut in the air. I mean, I don't even know if we can hear it because of the clever. That's okay. Mum, look, oh no, too late. I'm just trying to make tea. This is professionalism at its finest. This is all going to stay in the video if you still can hear. Do you fill the kettle up before the morning? Savage. No, it's from a hot water bottle. <laughs> I think we're supposed to preheat the oven. We've got the tray. So I don't need that tray because there's a tray already on here and it says you can just cut off the plastic and then put it straight in the oven. You can see me. Look at those dance moves. Call me George Sampson any day. Next is to slice the peppers. Slice those peppers. Because what I'm going to do is cut them really, really thin. Yep, I can do that with my hand. Idiot. 
What am I doing? Oh, that is sharp. Stop eating the food, Sam. This is riveting content for people, me cutting up peppers that they can't even see. I'm around for all parties, weddings, uh, bar mitzvahs, christenings, anything like that. If you want me to cook your food, I will. Just give me a call. Ooh, that hurt. <sighs> Welcome to the other side of the kitchen. Hunter's chicken going in the oven. Why is the oven not on? I turned the grill on, not the oven. Damn it. My camera's about to die. Great. Put the phone down. Stop watching TikToks. You've got something more important to do. So lemon is going in. If you want to make this recipe at home, I wouldn't. Rice has gone in. So also, I know my friend Ed and James watch these vlogs. They've done this to me. I literally handwritten on the note, it said go to this place. And then online it said it will get re-delivered to They made me into a lemon. From that video, these are the responses I got. Oh, James, you pips me to the post with that one. Sow about that then. So annoying. My mates might have the comedic skills, but do they have my cooking skills? <laughs> no, no one has my cooking skills. This looks horrendous. It smells amazing. Would you pay £7.55 for this with leftovers? I've still got a load of peppers, a load of rice, a load of sauce. Would you pay £7.55 for this? Who am I kidding? I would have to pay you to eat that. So that took two hours to cook. A meal that should have probably taken about 35 to 40 minutes. I've just watched Jackass 4.5 on Netflix, which is basically like the interviews and like extra bits that didn't make it into the film. It's so funny, so funny. It's currently 10 to one in the morning. I'm about to edit this video and I have no idea what it's gonna be like from the Southwark Playhouse and then the Elizabeth line and then my cooking challenge that I don't know how that's gonna come out. But thank you all for coming on these adventures. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.